Hi there, my beautiful followers, wherever you live in our beautiful world. Well, today I'm gonna taste a chili pepper that I've never tried before, and I believe that one is pretty mild. But I have a chocolatey pod too that are really softening up so I better eat it before it goes to waste so first I have this one it's called Apache and I don't know if this one is an ornamental pepper or chili so I don't know I haven't read anywhere how it tastes so I'm how it treats you but I'm eager to taste this one to see if I will enjoy it or I will not enjoy it so the chocolatey thing that is uh, getting soft it's this one oh look it's gnarly it's chocolate maruga Trina Scorpion Maruga. <laughs> nice. That one I know contains some heat, so I will just put the camera down on the table and then we'll talk some business. So, now let's cut this little thing open. It's pretty small pod. I don't know the real size of the Apache pepper, but it's not even an inch tall, around one and a half centimeters. So let's pull this open to see how it looks like inside. Oh, better sharpen the knife. <laughs> Thin walled or oh, small, oh, it contains some seeds. There you go, it looks like that. Full of seeds. Hmm. Kind of earthy smell. I don't like that many seeds, so I will. There we go, rip a lot of them out from there. I'm pretty sure I won't grow this one again. But I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, or pretty sure. If I like it, well, but I don't, I think I don't like it. Well, Mickey, Mickey 7 too. Apache. Uh, let's have it. Well, just some tingling on the tongue. Pretty bitter taste, earthy. None of my likings. Heat wise, yeah, nah, not much. Not worse than a jalapeno. Pretty bitter aftertaste too. No. I will not grow that one. I want to see how this one looks. But hello. Ah. Oh, I thought it was a, another pepper inside, but I was mistaken. Hmm. Very 
odd smell. It's pretty oily. If you look at the, those shiny parts in there. Deep with oil. This one will hurt. <laughs> well, don't like the smell though. It reminds me of the Gator Jigsaw Purple in the smell. Um, I can sense some fruit, some fruitiness. But the odd thing is that it doesn't smell super hot. Well, let's find out. Triamaruga Scorpion chocolate. Let's have it. Very fruity. Very nice tasting pepper. And here comes the heat. Building and building. Massive heat on the tongue. On the lower lip, some heat. It's beginning to migrate down. Wow, this one is a scorcher. <sighs> I like it. I do like the marugas. I haven't tasted any maruga that was bad. I've had the red, the yellow and the chocolate. They all taste good. And they all contain some serious heat. <clears throat> now it's full heat back the throat. Still pounding pretty bad on the tongue. Yeah. <clears throat> Nose starts dripping. Going out the ears. <clears throat> Still building. This one is for sure 1.5 million Scoville. Yeah. Soon I think I have enough super hots to make some tincture. I will only do a small batch. Well, I believe this one has peaked. Still heat, but it's not climbing anything. So it's a smooth afterburner back of the throat. Yeah. Well, my plans to kill some flies, <laughs> to feed my kratkis. So they will get big. I have a red maruga growing there, becoming pretty tall. Or I have two red marugas. 
one of them, the tallest, is supposed to go out. So, to the weekend I will repot it in soil. <clears throat> and my 11 peppers out in the greenhouse are growing well, especially the Carolina Reaper and the Scotch Brain. My Scotty Brain. Yeah. Uh, still the Serrano and uh, one of the other doesn't like it out there, but I'm pretty sure they will come back. I gave my wife's uh, tomato plant that looked very saggy a real shower with water last night and today it is coming back I'm glad I helped her out so the heat is fading away enough chit chat so in heat I trust take care out there and be safe Goodbye.